In this presentation, I'll be discussing the work, The Thing Doesn't Have a Name, Learning from Emergent Real-World Interventions in Smart Home Security, which was completed with colleagues at Delta University of Technology, uh, being Brennan, Elsa, Carlos, and Michelle. Regarding the aims of the work, it remains that many IoT devices have technical vulnerabilities or misconfigurations, such as default passwords, which expose a range of consumer IoT devices to potential malware infections, such as with Mirai. A typical fix is for internet service providers or ISPs to send cleanup instructions to owners of suspected infected IoT devices. However, little is known about what takes place in, place in end users' homes after receiving this remediation advice. They may not be able to confirm which device is infected um, or even after following instructions, prove removal of the malware. We coordinated with a partner ISP to conduct remote think aloud observations with 17 of their customers who had um, a suspected infected device where observations focus on answering the question, how do end users act on remediation advice about their infected Internet of Things devices? The methodology first required identifying infected users by combining network data that provided the IP addresses of customers matching the Mirai malware scan signature. Those customers were then notif uh, notified um, of the Mirai infection and received uh, instructions for remediation, as, as well as notification of the study. So those who um, signaled interest were uh, then participated in Think Aloud interview calls, uh, which stepped through a consent check, and then um, the actual Think Aloud protocol, where they were asked to perform the steps on their own without any interference. The um, resultant calls were then uh, transcribed and coded to form our analysis and outcomes. These outcomes indicated that users, our participants, were highly motivated to uh, remediate and resolve the problem, but advice was constrained in many ways. Only four of 17 participants successfully completed all five remediation steps, where these included changing of um, credentials and resetting of devices. Participants were relying on um, a range of heuristics. Some would use a process of elimination amongst their devices um, or start with a device which they regarded as already having problems or otherwise independent searching aside from the notification instructions. Without a dedicated app or interface, which three participants were able to find, others sought those kind of features, but found them difficult to find or um, otherwise fell back on familiar behaviors if they were not able to find a feature to change a password or reset the device. So they, they may unplug the device or turn it uh, off and turn it back on again. And so then the remediation process was cumbersome and it, it, it wasn't necessarily um, indicating that it, it had succeeded, but yet many participants uh, reached a successful outcome. However, three participants had devices which indicated in the data that they um, there were infections remaining, but they'd followed some of the same steps that remediated users had. So um, this, this um, is, a, is a call for um, looking further into these problems. And so we saw here a kind of action diffraction where users were not able to do enough toward remediation. They would try behaviors which um, they were able to do, but which were not necessarily um, directly successful. So behaviors that had a good chance of success, but were not definitely going to succeed or even be confirmed as having been successful. Where here, we, this is indicated by a highly, motiv highly motivated uh, users on the, the top left there um, with these arrows, these dotted arrows indicating that they would try many different things. They could activate these behaviors, but the the target behavior was kind of indistinct as to what exactly it was. So they, they may hit the mark or 
something close to it, but then not even necessarily have it confirmed. So that concludes this overview of our work. Thank you for your attention and comments and questions are welcome.